Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks for invention. So invention, it is an elite skill and it is one of the more complex skills in RuneScape 3. So a lot of players, especially newer and returning players, they are a bit confused with this skill. So this guide is gonna help you guys understand the skill a little bit and also give you some tips and tricks as to how to train it a bit faster and also some tips um, which will help you uh, actually utilize this skill as well. So my first tip for you guys is use the extreme invention potion. You can make it with a super invention potion dose three and a mycelial webbing. Um, and you'll be able to make the extreme invention potion. Now this is a really good potion to use when you are when you are not only training invention, um, but also when you are making some perks for your weapons. So you will also require um, level 95 Herblore to make the extreme invention potion. So it is a pretty high level. Otherwise, you'll just have to use the super invention potion, um, which will only boost your invention level by five as opposed to the 17 from the extreme invention potion. Um, but with this, it will really help you with your perks. So as you guys can see, um, with the Invention Potion, I have about a 15% uh, chance to get Precise 6 Equilibrium 1, and then about a 1% chance for the Precise 6 Equilibrium 2 with this current setup. But then with the Invention Potion, um, it actually increases to nearly a 21.5% chance um, of getting either of these two perks as opposed to the 15.5. So we're getting an extra 6% chance with the Extreme Invention Potion. So if you guys can make this, definitely do so. If you can't, even the Super Invention Potion will help you a little bit. Also, if you are using the Extreme Invention Potion, it will boost your invention levels. And with this, you'll actually be able to discover some new invention uh, items and components and whatnot. So this is really helpful because you can gain a ton of XP off of this. Not only that, you can discover these on double XP weekend or event um, where you will get double XP when discovering this. So if you have not already done so, uh, using the Extreme Invention Potion on a double XP event, um, and discovering all of these new invention items will be extremely beneficial for your account and you'll be able to gain a lot of invention levels pretty quickly. Now this next tip is another really helpful one. You can actually get Biting 2 um, at level 68 invention only using strong components. So this is a really cheap way of getting it. Otherwise you'll have to use noxious components which are extremely expensive. Now the Biting perk is one of the better invention perks that you can get. Even at level 2 it is a pretty good budget perk. So you'll have a plus 2% chance per rank to critically hit the opponents, meaning you'll have about a 2.5% average hit increase if you get level 2 Biting. Now as you guys can see, without the Ancient Gizmo, um, you're going to be having a 22% chance at getting Biting 2. However, with an Ancient Gizmo, you'll actually have a 5% chance of getting Biting 3 and also a 9.5% chance of getting Biting 2. So you'll have a chance of getting Biting 3 if you do use an Ancient Gizmo, um, which would be a pretty good idea as well. And so this is just a pretty good perk that you guys can get, which will help increase your DPS when you are doing combat. Now another tip that I have for you guys regarding the invention perks is use the wiki perk calculator. This is extremely useful when you're figuring out what you need to get the perk and also it shows your chances at getting the various different perks. There is a lot of uh, customization that can be done. As you guys can see, you can choose which materials you'll want to use. You can choose if you have a weapon, armor, or tool gizmo type. And it also gives you the option to use an ancient gizmo. Um, you can switch your invention level, invention potion, and all of this will change the chances on the perks that you will get. So definitely make sure to use this before trying to get a certain perk. You can even search a certain perk and it will give you the best combinations to get it. So for example, I searched the precise perk and it's giving me multiple different ways of getting it. Um, and it also shows the other perks that you can get along with it. So overall, this is basically an essential tool when you are trying to get some perks from Invention. And I will be linking the link to this calculator in the description down below. 
Now the next tip I have for you guys is use ancient gizmos. This tip is a lot like using the invention potion when getting perks. Because if you do use an ancient gizmo, you will have a higher chance at getting better perks. Also, the maximum rank for a lot of perks will increase. For example, the biting maximum rank is 3 if you use the standard gizmo. However, it is 4 if you use an ancient gizmo. The same can be said with precise and equilibrium and many other perks where it will have a higher maximum rank if you are using the ancient gizmo, which is why you will want to be using these. Ancient Gizmos can be created using 85 Invention, and you'll also need the Ancient Gizmos Blueprint, which you can buy on the Grand Exchange for 4 million coins. Next, I want to go over a few budget invention perks for you guys that you might want to get. So, first off is the Precise perk. This is an extremely useful perk. It will increase your minimum damage by 1.5% per rank of your maximum damage. So essentially this perk is just increasing your minimum hit and it will increase your DPS by quite a bit. So at rank six, you'll actually get an average hit increase of about 7.5%, which is extremely helpful. Now also we're gonna move on to Equilibrium. This is another really awesome budget perk that you guys can get. Equilibrium increases your minimum hit by 3% per rank and then also decreases your maximum hit by 1% per rank. So this is really helpful because basically it will increase your average hit. Um, and if you do have Equilibrium 4, which is the max rank, it will increase your average hit by about 5.3%. This is also an excellent perk to combine with Precise. Also, there is Ruthless. This is another excellent perk. Um, basically, whenever you defeat an enemy, you'll have a 0.5% damage boost per rank for 20 seconds. So it's really helpful when you're fighting a lot of mobs and doing Slayer tasks. In terms of how to get these perks, here are a few examples. But as I mentioned earlier, just go to the Invention Perk Calculator on the wiki and you guys can find out all the information for yourselves. Um, there are also plenty of other perks that you guys might want to use in terms of budget perks for your budget setups. I um, mean, I will be linking an entire video explaining budget perks in the description down below if you guys are interested in that. But I just wanted to go over a few quick ones for you in this video. The next tip I have for you guys is get the scavenging perk as soon as possible. This is one of my favorite invention perks and it's because it will give you a ton of free components. So you'll have a 1% chance per rank to get an uncommon invention component as a drop from combat. And then this will also have a 1% chance whenever it is procced to be a rare component instead. So at uh, level four scavenging, um, which you can obtain through nine uh, precious components in an ancient gizmo. Um, at this uh, rank, you'll actually be able to get around a material level every six kills. So this is really excellent because it will save you a ton of money. You get a ton of free uncommon components. And then also you have that chance at the rare components. If you get some components like the noxious components, then you are saving a ton of money. Noxious components are about 8 mil per Noxious component. If you do get it from the scavenging perk with rank 3, you'll be getting 4 of these, essentially saving 24 mil. So just having this perk and having the chance at uh, getting all of these components for free is a really great thing. Also with the scavenging perk, you can head to spots like Corp Spiders or even Abyssal Demons, just... Uh, creatures where you can kill a lot of them per hour um, so you can basically farm invention components and you'll save a lot of money doing this um, not even to mention you could augment your weapon and armor here and train invention while you're at it now my next tip and trick that i do want to discuss is the disassembling versus siphoning this is more of a way to train the skill so following this table, I do want to just explain it. Um, so the first column is the invention item level. Um, so if you do augment some of your weapons or your armor, you will be able to level it up. Um, now you will need a certain amount of experience, which is where the second column comes in. So to get an augmented piece of equipment to level 10, you'll need 40,000 item experience. Now when you do get to level 10 you can disassemble this for 540,000 XP. 
Um, otherwise, you can also go up to level 12, which requires double the experience at 81,960. And here, you can disassemble it for the same amount of XP, or you can siphon it, meaning you'll actually get to keep the item for the same 540,000 XP. So the difference between these two is you either uh, basically dismantle the weapon or armor piece, or you get to keep it. So a really great way to train this skill, especially in the mid levels, is by disassembling your armor and your weapons. So thereby you will want to use cheaper weapons. So if you are looking at training the skill really fast, you will want to buy these cheap weapons and cheap armors and then disassemble them because you'll be able to do this twice as fast than if you were to get the item up to level 12 and then siphon it. So uh, just on screen are a few really good cheap weapons and armors that you can buy and then disassemble the armadillo and subjugation armor. They are a bit more expensive, but if you do disassemble these, you will also get some really important components in the armadillo and Zamorak components, which you will need later for getting some invention perks. Now, moving on to the last tip in this video, it's utilizing the invention machines, specifically the auto disassembler and the auto alchemizer. These I find are the best two to use. The auto disassembler putting in some maple logs just to get some free simple components is really helpful. It will allow you to make divine charges a lot easier and save a bit of money. As for the auto alchemizer, this is perfect for putting your rune salvage drops, all of your alchemical drops in that you do get from PVM. Um, even the new Rex Matriarch bosses where they do drop the damaged dinosaur hide, it's a great spot to put all of that in since it does alk for 5k each. Um, so having those alkables in that um, will save you a lot of time. You won't have to alk it yourself. Um, and then of course you do get a little bit more money alking them than selling it on the grand exchange. There are a ton of other invention machines as well, including um, the auto plank maker, there's the uh, partial potion maker, and then there is also the hide tanner. In my opinion, these three machines are more aimed towards Iron Man players. So if you are a main account, you'll mostly want to take advantage of the auto disassembler and the auto alchemizer. And so those are all the tips I have for you guys in this video. I really hope you did enjoy and hopefully some of these tips um, you're able to learn from them and uh, you'll be able to train invention a little bit more efficiently and maybe even understand the skill a little bit more. If you guys have any questions about anything mentioned in this video, let me know in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer your questions. Also, again, I am going to be linking the budget invention perk guide in the description down below if you guys want to check that out. I'll also link my scavenging perk guide where I do really talk about that perk in depth. Um, so definitely check those out if you are interested. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.